so man. Oh, sure, sure. I'm gonna kill a bong, you won't go sink in any church or five schemes. I get a conk a shang and a young kid in church or pit his car as a man. Chess a castle of course, a clown or chow. Tenji will not be leaning a bin cheese, a pavan king, chabanga cheese, and follow tetra. Ah, for seven bees a chow. Shayala pans castle as I get him church. Come again, man, was a lecass and a man John Jacoba. Consuma she shin a seven six or six in my kitchen. Papumel auction, the piss commission, the cushion machin. Pans with us go to my coat about the basic lift in. Was mixed and on the mess between his gym and I was sit in. With a mecom queen and dash, I call him a cross. And a hash, it's a long rubber figure stash. That be straight, I phony dash. I'm a cut out of a span and call it this way. Sunny cash, you're pulling out on tattoo. Find me, you're dealing with sense of fresh. Chocolate pass, I'm a baggy lip of mine. Look, we could shash. Fuck a fast, my cash. Bally, bally, bump on my cash. Put the yan to lambos. Cause I turn to put the bun in dash. I'm gonna ask from Lenzer Batty. which is music at capetowntv.org. Right now, though, I am joined by a lady who opened up the show with a stellar, amazing performance. Let me tell you something. During that performance, I went through at least three emotions just vibing to the song. She goes by the name Aina Sir. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me on the show. We what appreciate you making time for us. Before we talk about the journey itself, let's talk about the song. What inspired it? How did it come about? Sweet Lullaby? Yeah, yeah. So, Sweet Lullaby is basically dealing with the loss of a loved one. That was the main inspiration behind it. In March last year, sadly, a very close friend of mine passed away, and oh. I regarded him as a brother. And I was absolutely distraught. Oh. And at this time, we were working on the EP, and all I could write about, all I could think about was loss and trying to accept that he is no longer physically on earth oh. but i thought maybe if i composed a song or wrote some lyrics you know music lives on forever 
So in a sense, it gave me some comfort that he will always be with me. Okay, okay. And it just, you know, he was such a light to this world and a positive soul. And I felt I needed to honor him in some kind of way. Mm. And I hope this song mm. does that for him. You mentioned that you're also a songwriter. Would it be correct to assume that maybe the theme to your music is uh, sort of life experiences and... Exactly. Uh -huh. that, that's what I intend to write about. And I feel, you know, people relate to authenticity. Definitely. And if you write about something that you're not going through or can't, you, ex you have no, yeah, or you haven't experienced, mm. people are going to see through that. Definitely. They can see through your fakeness. Mm -hmm. So I, the responses I've gotten so far have been amazing. And mm -hmm. my dad's always been like, don't you want to write happy songs? <laughs> like, they're a bit yeah. too sad. I don't think no one wants to listen to them. And surprisingly, I've got some amazing, amazing responses yeah. that have brought me to tears. And they said, thank you so much for sharing the song. Yeah. You know, I don't feel so alone. I deeply relate to it. And that's what I kind of want to cr create as an artist. That is the aim, I think. Definitely. To help Makes comfort sense. people and to yeah. help, yeah, show them that they're not alone in their experiences. Certainly, and because a lot be of people, friend, yeah. yeah, they have that pain in common because it's also a common feeling that everybody mm. shares. So let's take it back, mm -hmm. the journey itself. Where did it start for you to end up at Color Records? So I've always been a performer. I've been encouraged from a young age to pursue arts. I grew up dancing. I was also a professional gymnast, and that requires like music and rhythm and timing and I uh, l did piano lessons and violin lessons and I performed in school at Steadfits. Then I took drama as a subject. I took dance as a subject okay, okay. and then went on surprisingly next door to after to study drama uh -huh. and film and media. And then I got into radio presenting and that kind of consumed my time and I kind of didn't put a lot of effort into my music because I was just so busy with this, busy yeah. with that and just, you know, trying to, you know, I kind of felt like a bit of an imposter because I had no radio experience. I wanted to prove myself okay. and I got this big show and I was like, I'm going to make it amazing. But then my music kind of took a back seat. And then, you know, in 2021, I really, that was when I really started being like, I need to focus and make a EP that I am proud of and find my sound. Mm. And I'm so thankful in 2020 that Colin Scher from Kosher Studios took me under his wing and said, we believe in you, we see you. Yes. When I didn't even believe in myself, like Dance Better was supposed to be my swan song, mm -hmm. as I said, or air. Um, and I never planned on pursuing music further than 2020. And, and they just said, amazing this guy they and just said, you're too good to not yeah. carry on. And yeah, it's, it's been the most amazing experience. I really sweet lullaby. Also not expecting not expecting a great response because also it's a sad song and I think though surprisingly a lot of people you know with COVID happening loss is just such yes, a, yes, yes. A, a pivotal f theme now and you know it, it breaks my heart that so many people are also going through so much heartbreak mm. and that's why songs like Olivia Rodrigo do, uh, Driver's License and her album Sour yeah. is like breaking all those records last year because People, Resonate you know, life is, yeah. life is tough. Resonate and I think music has the power to be a great form of therapy. And that's kind of my aim as an artist is to also just help people not feel so alone. Yeah, that and makes so much sense. But we are fortunately running out of time. <laughs> yes. Before we let you go, where can people find you on social media if they're interested in following the journey further? Um, they can follow me at Anna C. Rose on all social media platforms. Uh -huh. Definitely, you guys do that. But right now, though, it's time for us to get back to the music. Sabuya homegrown straight after this. <laughs> Yeah. 
Before that one, we played you guys, Police Samaiki, so City in Bula. And if you want to be like them and want to see your videos played right here on this show, all you have to do is please email music at capetowntv.org. Absolutely, man. Give us a ring on 021 448 And we'd love to hear from you what you think about our music videos and, of course, what you think about the rest of the show. We have, of course, on Cape Town TV throughout. We would love to hear from you. Remember, with the repeats every morning between 9 and 10, Tlalu Meza, Tlalu Meza, and spread the word throughout your community because I feel like this is the biggest 
music show in the country uh -huh, at the uh -huh. moment on your TV screens. Facts, 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 and make sure that you do not miss this because we do this weekdays between the hours of half past five and half past six. As she said, please let everybody know to tune in on the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening music show in the motherland. But right now, though, it's time for us to take a quick ad break. Right now, there'll be more of Homegrown straight after this. Yeah.